Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, wanted to do a little bit of a different video today, something that's been on my mind um, since the moment that I found out I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, is about how that will relate to um, and be involved with um, me someday um, having a baby. So as some of you may know, um, and I have mentioned in other videos, um, I got married about a year ago, and my husband and I don't have any kids. Um, we've talked about it. Um, I'm gonna be 27 in a few months, and um, it's kind of that time where it's just, you know, on my mind, it seems like the natural next step, um, but it's definitely something that's scary. You know, when you think about how um, your body is gonna be impacted, and is my body gonna be okay to carry a baby, or, um, you know, what symptoms are um, gonna, you know, impact that, and um, am I gonna have any issues getting pregnant compared to other women, or, um, you know, the medication that I'm on is pretty heavy duty. I mean, I had to go through a lot of tests to make sure that I was healthy enough to be on the medication and it drastically impacts my um, immune system, the medication that I'm on. So um, how do I know that this is going to be okay and what's going to happen? I had, um, to say the least, I had lots and lots of questions. So I actually just recently had a, a doctor's appointment both with my gastroenterologist, my GI doctor who manages my uh, Crohn's disease, as well as my obstetrician. And I discussed the Crohn's disease with both of them just to kind of get an idea of kind of, like I said, all the questions I had and what this would mean for the future and starting a family. So I am happy to share that um, it was better news than what I thought. Um, so overall, it doesn't seem from, you know, according to both of the doctors, that um, women with Crohn's disease have any uh, more, you know, any more of a difficult time conceiving than um, a woman who does not have Crohn's disease. There is a chance of passing, just like with any disease, um, I mean, no one in my family has Crohn's disease from what I know, um, so th I may do a video in the future kind of about genetics and how um, Crohn's disease is tied to that, but it's not necessarily genetic, so there is a chance that you could pass it on to your children, but it's not necessarily, um, obviously, something that's going to happen for sure, so that was something that I was concerned about. Um, another major concern of mine was kind of what's going to happen as far as, um, once I am pregnant, um, what is going to happen as far as my treatment. So one thing um, with with regard to the infusion treatment that I'm on, when I discussed um, treatments with my gastroenterologist before we even started, um, I told him, you know, sometime in the foreseeable future, I would like to have a baby. So I would prefer whatever medication you put me on be something that I can continue to do while pregnant and then after, you know, having a baby from there um, that would still be safe for, you know, things like breastfeeding and that sort of thing when the time comes. So um, I was informed that the medication that I'm on is perfectly fine. Um, it does pass a little bit to um, the unborn baby um, while you're pregnant, but it's in such small doses that it's actually better for the mom to continue to be on the treatment to keep their Crohn's disease in remission rather than go off the medication, have the risk of a flare up, and then that drastically impacts the mom and the baby. You know, the mom may need to be hospitalized or you, know, you don't want to have any, you know, have to take the next steps with surgery or, you know, putting the mom on a steroid or something that can drastically impact impact the unborn baby. So another big question for me was, like I said, just having been diagnosed, starting new treatments, I'm currently on a steroid. My question, my main question for both of the doctors was, how soon, if I told you I wanted to have a baby tomorrow, what steps would you have me take to make that happen? What would you like to see me do um, before you would recommend that it's okay to uh, basically start trying to have a baby? So basically what both of the doctors suggested was to number one, be completely off of the steroid 100% um, before trying to conceive. Um, they said that um, if I were to have, you know, were to get pregnant before then that we could certainly, you know, deal with that. But I obviously want to follow their medical <laughs> advice and take the steps that they think are necessary. So they suggested the very first step was to get off of the steroid completely, which um, I think I mentioned in another video that um, hopefully by June of this year, I will be off the steroid altogether. Together. So that is pretty much it. Everything I know so far about pregnancy and Crohn's and kind of how that's going to impact things. Um, like I said, I know it's something that's been on my mind, you know, having recently been married and thinking about taking the next steps for our future and starting a family. Um, you know, I kind of talked to the doctors and said, you know, I would love to kind of get your medical you know, advice on what you think. And then my husband and I can decide together, you know, when the time is right for us, you know, for every other reason of thinking about starting a family. Um, but for me, the medical piece um, was a huge component that I wanted to make sure I kind of had an idea of when I would have their blessing that they would think that it was, you know, medically safe and appropriate and 
all that good stuff um, before we would take those next steps. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear from those of you, especially moms, um, young moms um, who you know have gone through these things. Anybody that's um, carried a child with Crohn's disease is definitely something that's really interesting to me. Um, it sounds like most um, women with Crohn's disease are managed by regular doctors, don't necessarily need to see high risk doctors. So that was something that was really relieving for me. Um, so I'd love to hear from any of, of you who've experienced these things. Um, you know, what's it like for you? What's your, what was your experience like? Um, I would love to get some feedback before kind of embarking on that next chapter of our lives. So um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your love and support. Thank you so much for subscribing and I will see you in my next video.